Uh, hello again. Uh, right, we're at the desk at the minute, and uh, I think I've got a problem with this engine. <coughs> um, you can see the exhaust port at the moment. And that's the bottom of the stroke there. We can just see the top of the piston as it comes up. We can see the rings, and as it goes up to top dead center, everything seems to be all right. But just at top dead center, if you look at the bottom of the exhaust port, Can you see that's the bottom skirt of the piston opening into the crankcase? Now I think that's a problem. I think when it's a top dead centre, the bottom of the piston shouldn't be open to air. On the other side of the um, engine we've got the inlet port and the inlet port when you go up to top dead center the, you just see the piston passes it and uh, just clears the port now I don't know everything never purported to know everything but the cycle of a two-stroke engine, to my way of thinking, is with the piston at top dead centre now and the bottom of the piston just past the inlet port. Uh, as it continues the cycle, it draws air in. That's the intake. Uh, it gets compressed. The fuel uh, air mixture gets compressed in the crankcase. Uh, and is injected. into the cylinder through two small ports which are about level with the top of the piston now and it continues the cycle piston goes up compresses and ignition piston comes down and it's starting the cycle all over again but what's bugging me is where the crankcase, where, where it should be drawing air in through the inlet. I've got, you can almost see straight through the engine, you know. Um, I've got open to atmosphere at the bottom of the piston and the exhaust port and I don't think that's right and at the minute all I can find is descriptions of the cycle uh, but I haven't got another engine to see what actually does happen so it's flummoxing me a bit I'm not sure the other engine I've got that I made uh, that's the inlet side you can see the piston go past the inlet and then it comes down draws the engine air in and pressurizes the crankcase 
and the piston goes up to top dead center fires but we don't get any uh, open to air at the top of the stroke and that's one does run you know not brilliantly but it runs so it's something I'm going to have to look into the timing of this event because I'm not happy with this one at the minute I'm not happy at all uh, it does seem wrong that we get that opening uh, now obviously I have measured and compared with the plan every component I've made so far because as far as I'm concerned I've lot I'm two mil out, a mil and a half to two mil out with that you know and you think oh we'll just shorten the connecting rod but that's not right because then it's going to be covering up the intake port so I've, I've checked the dimensions of everything of the cylinder We've checked the dimensions of the cylinder, uh, the dimensions from there to the bottom of the skirt. We've checked all our orifices, the uh, heights, that's the intake. Those are the two small uh, transfer port openings into the cylinder. And that's what the slot's for, as I say, the pressurised fuel goes up there and into this cylinder. Uh, the exhaust port is absolutely two size and smack on in position. I can't measure it any different. Uh, the collar wouldn't affect it. Uh, the length of the piston and connecting rod I've um, checked double checked and triple checked and I you know the position of the gudgeon pin uh, once or twice I thought oh you stupid person you've done that wrong but no every time I recheck everything like the, the measurements from uh, center to center of the con rod is 28 mil I can't make it any different whatever I do uh, as I say that I think it's 8.7 mil from the top of the piston that's smack on the size of the piston is smack on so I don't know where it is so unless I'm completely wrong and it will run like that the opening and closing of the ports to me seems out but as I say um, I'm not fully conversant I can understand the four stroke it's more mechanical you can see the inlet valve opening and the exhaust opening and you can time them to the event of the firing and all the rest of it but two strokes rely solely on the positioning of the piston in the, in the cylinder to time the inlet and the exhaust. Anyway, that's I'll leave that only a short moan natter. I'm just trying to work it out where I go from here. Uh, those are all the parts so far. Uh, we're getting a collection of parts that uh, didn't work, but there we go. Right, until the next time, all you lucky people, please uh, subscribe, <clears throat> like, comment, what have you, and so bye for now.